believe it or not, this is a computer. This is a small PC or personal computer, and this is a by Tycoon. They did send me this product for review, and they want me to show you what it is and how it works. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the specs for this particular one that they sent me. Now they do have other models with other specs uh, on it, so you wanna make sure that you pick the right one for what you are looking for, but this is the one they sent me, so let's go ahead and take a closer look. I'll show you what it is, and we're gonna plug it all in and uh, put it to the test. Okay, here's what comes with the package. You do get an instruction booklet. You're going to get a power supply. You're going to get an HDMI cable. You'd only get one of these here for hooking up a monitor. And, and we're going to have a couple things. You've got a bracket here. Now, this bracket can be uh, mounted onto a back of a monitor, or you can mount this kind of other places if you want to. It does come with the little screws that you need for it. And also it comes with this little adapter. Now, this is to um, get an additional SSD to, for storage. You can hook it up through this little piece here and then you get the PC itself let's take a closer look at this okay I just took this out of the package you see it still has its stickers on it uh, now it says a magnetic quick release which means uh, I can take that off but um, there's a little uh, little fingernail <laughs> hook right in there that you can open this up and this opens up the um, the inside of it so now that you've got the RAM and you have your SSDs and things like that all up in here so this is your access to that uh, if you don't need to you want to keep it closed up um, this is your um, a space for an HH or HDD hard drive or an SSD drive a very small one can go in here and then it gets attached um, to this so this goes you know onto that and then this goes inside here uh, someplace I'm not sure exactly where but it does plug into the computer and that's how this um, gets you some extra storage if you need it okay looking at the front you have a power button and you have two USB ports and you have a type C USB and then you also have your headphones and or microphone here at the front now looking at the back side, you also have more USBs. You got two USBs there. You have a DP or display port. You have your HD HDMI port here. Uh, these two, there are little stickers on it. You can take it off. And though this is for your uh, your Wi-Fi or LAN connector, so that you can plug those into there. You get two of them. They have different speeds for each one. Uh, and then this is your power adapter. This is DC power adapter. And these are just vents to keep things all cool. And here at the bottom, you have two mounting screws here to mount this. So that's pretty much it with the unit itself. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug this all in. I do have a monitor uh, available on a separate desk that we can plug this in and test it out. Uh, and also what I understand is it comes with Windows 11 all installed as well. So we shouldn't really need anything other than plug this in and turn it on. So we'll just go ahead and get this set up. Okay, I have this hooked up now, and I didn't use the HDMI cable that it came with because I already had one hooked up to um, a USB hub or the actual hub over here. So I disconnected that, so I'm not even using that. This is straight from the uh, computer itself uh, directly to the monitor. Um, I, have, I have a keyboard plugged in, and I have a mouse, a wireless mouse uh, with the USB. So I don't really have a way to set up the Wi-Fi yet to the system to do um, a wireless keyboard or anything. Um, but I do have this, I plug it in, this is where it comes up to. Um, now I do have some stuff here, so let's see, accessibility and volume. Now I don't have any speakers or anything plugged in here, but let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you the setup of this. So this is the Windows setup. Okay, now it says let's connect you to the network. Now I'm not allowed to show you this part um, here, but now it's gonna ask me to connect to my uh, Wi-Fi system, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, it did ask me for a few other things to get logged in and Microsoft um, ID and all that stuff, so I did. And what's nice is it'll actually bring in all my stuff from my other computer, so I actually can use this as a backup or anything like that and access all my folders and all my uh, settings and everything like that all from this new PC. So if you already have a computer and you're upgrading or updating or changing or just adding another one, you can also do the same thing here, um, or you can start fresh and start scratch uh, with nothing importing at all. Okay, there was a lot of other setup stuff that I just kind of skipped through, but you want to take your time with that. Uh, now they're doing a Windows update, so it's going to take a little minute. I'll come back when the windows are done and updated. Okay, now here's the system information. As you can see, um, what it is, the Ryzen 7 5700, 16 gigabytes of RAM, etc., etc. So here's the Windows information, 11 Pro, very nice. Okay, it looks like the shortcuts are here, but the programs are not. Um, so we'll have to download some of these programs to get it set up. I just wanted to do a, a speed test real quick with the internet. And I'm just doing off the Wi-Fi, which should be pretty good. I have the um, uh, fiber optic 
Wi-Fi system and you know the pods are not even close to where I'm at in my office so this is just going to give me an idea real quick on how well this PC will upload and download okay it looks like it's pretty decent for here for my area uh, compared to my other computers okay I downloaded my editing software and I'm doing a little travel video now for editing and I just wanted to see how well this is this is 4k footage and um, I put it in the timeline and it looks like it's doing okay. It's kind of hard to tell there. So let's go ahead and add another one. Um, now we're not going to be able to hear the sound or anything on this because um, I have no audio, no speaker or anything on it. So let's go ahead and add another 4K on top of it. And these are people walking. So let's see how well this works. Looks like it's doing okay. Now my um, uh, monitor is not a 4K monitor, um, but I do have um, the playback going back at full um, full amount. Okay, just so you know, this is 4K footage right over here. This is what shows that. And I'm hit play again, and it looks like it does pretty good with two 4K videos on top of each other. Okay, I just put a third one on top of it. This is the uh, little dragon ceremony. And uh, it looks like it's doing pretty good. Okay, I went ahead and put one of these digital glitch titles. Now this is very um, process intensive. Uh, so we're gonna put this really to the test here. I'm gonna hit play. And it looks like that's where we're going to have the issues. Look, at it's only going to, uh, right here, uh, three frames per second um, on this one here for editing. So um, without it, it seems to be doing okay. But with the titles or any kind of graphics, uh, that you're going to have a problem with this. Now, this machine is not really designed for high-end graphics like this. Okay, I added Chrome to this as a browser, and all my information came in. Uh, all my uh, saves and, and tabs and the whole bit there. Um, so now this PC is going to be good for um, basic usage for internet surfing. Um, you can watch you know videos on this thing. You can do spreadsheets. You can do some light business stuff. Uh, as far as video editing, uh, probably some light video editing would be good on this one. If you want to do some heavy stuff like I do, you definitely want to upgrade to their highest model or work out on something else. Um, as far as gaming, I don't know gaming because I I don't play games. I don't have any games to even show you, so I can't show you that stuff too. But you're going to want to look at all the specs to see if it's uh, compatible or not. But uh, pretty decent little PC. So this is a decent little mini PC. If you are looking for something like this, this might be the right one for you.